Hi there. I know it's been a long time, but I haven't been making videos because I didn't feel like I was coming with enough information or like with enough things um, to share. But not logging my sugar um, or not having the videos, it doesn't make me feel like I'm doing the right thing for myself and actually checking my sugar. So um, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. Okay. So I have um, I, my stepson is here and um, he's going to be here for a week. Um, and it's been really exciting to have a, a boy here in the house that's like wants to play all the time and do something outside. So that's encouraging. But my sugars have been amazing. This morning, after taking my insulin or like right before lunch at 12 o'clock, my sugar is 141. And let me share with you. I have had dark chocolate for Valentine's Day. I have had cereal. Um, I'm like enjoying things that I normally wouldn't, like a bag of popcorn, like a legit bag of popcorn. Let me give a little more to tell on myself, right? So these are um, these are Sergeant uh, Salt and Peppers uh, from Double Good, so good. Um, they have four grams of carb, uh, of four grams of fiber and 21 grams of carbohydrates. So this popcorn is actually not too bad because let me tell you, if your fiber content in like pasta, bread, whatever, if your fiber content on the label shows that it has between three and four grams of sugar, Oh, it's not catching it real good. But, I mean, at least you know and understand. I mean, hear me out. Hear me out. If your pasta, your bread, um, your pasta, your bread, your cereal has at least, they say 2.5 grams for diabetics of fiber. Um, so, if you're having any type of, it's supposed to be a grain like white bread, you'll never find any fiber in there, okay? It's not good for you. It means it's not going to process in your body. It's not going to break down. So for the rest of our lives, it doesn't matter if you're diabetic or not, okay? If you want to eat well, you need to make sure that your grains have true grains in them. So that means that if it has 2.5 grams of fiber or more, it is going to break down in your body fast enough for your body to process it and it is not going to stay in your in your body like you know and be and convert into fat and so on okay but this was a, a good deal it is great value um i was surprised to see a wheat um i don't really go to walmart so i was really surprised to see that walmart had a whole wheat uh penne pasta because here in my neighborhood um I, I really, I live in the hood, right? You can't find brown rice. Like, it's really sad. I couldn't find old-fashioned oatmeal, and it actually upset me very much to find out that the big thing of old-fashioned oatmeal, there wasn't even Quakers available. Um, it was, and I, I say that because I use to, I, I use oatmeal um, as a as a filler so that I'm sure that I'm getting like like if I want a dessert or something I eat oatmeal blue with the like few blueberries nice and hot they pop and and they're delicious and it's perfect for a sweetener but I have a hard time finding whole wheat uh, anything so to see that great value had one I was really happy about that I was really happy about that so reminder because check it I, my brother-in-law oh my god he got down on some cajun pasta and it has sh shrimp um sausage and chicken and it's delicious and i had two bowls yesterday my sugar is 141 like i can't i can't talk that up enough like seriously um so uh, we went to Mardi Gras yesterday. We had such a good time. I almost stopped at the store and got ding dongs because like I ate that bag of uh, popcorn, um, I had 
because I got those for like a fundraiser and I had different types and I had like a cheese caramel a whole bag um, during the time during my little blackout okay from YouTube I have been hiding and I did not recognize it well enough until like recently that I am hiding um, my last video I know I shared that with y'all but like it's becoming more apparent to me that my videos are so important to make sure that I am holding myself accountable and I'm doing the right thing. And oh my God, this share right here though, about four, look, this is four grams of fiber, okay? And for three fourths a cup, it's 38 carbs. I had two of these bowls yesterday and my sugar is 141. Like that means that I'm doing something really positive and wonderful, okay? Um, so I've gone to, you can look it up. It's it's a Mediterranean, more of a Mediterranean diet, but it's really just making sure that you're getting your grains, um, getting your vegetables, getting your meat, and making sure that you're not, you know, um, that you're working in moderation, that you're eating in moderation, and you're making sure that um, once you figure this out, like... I did this before. When I had pancreatitis, I went straight to this. And it's like, you're allowed six grams of fiber or sorry, 16 grams of carbs for a snack. We're staying away from snacks, okay? We're just going intermittent fasting, but I just wanted to share that, okay? And it's, uh, um, I wanna say it's like 30, 24 to 30 carbs um, at mealtime. So, um, that has 38, 34, and it's, uh, sorry, three-fourths a cup of uh, pasta is what I'm allowed. But um, I'm pretty sure three-fourths is covered here. Like, my bowl is small. I mean, I don't, I don't know if you would call, I don't believe you would call this, like, a medium bowl. I, this, to me, is small. Um, but, so I'm trying to even use the smaller dishes and make sure that, I'm because then you can recognize you're going for your your seconds, you can't go for a third. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I am really proud of this. I'm adding back in fiber to like help my body um, better improve is is good stuff. So, but I was disappointed to find out that I have given myself gallstones and and really bothered myself. Um, with eating so much cheese and whole milk so we're just moder going to moderation now um but when we're adding carbs we're acknowledging how much it is and that it always has at least for me i say it's at least three grams of fiber and i really sometimes i'm looking for just like that box four grams of, of carbs so i'm hope hope you understood what I was saying. I'm so excited about it because I really missed bread. Um, and it's like almost like being able to have a cookie or something because I'm having wasa cracker uh, with my coffee like to end my dinner or like, you know, having like a dessert, having, having another bite. Um, and I'm doing better on my portions because I was eating, I was only eating probably a little bit too much because I was getting sleepy often after I ate. So I'm doing a lot better. Um, and yeah, sugar's 141 today after, you know, being bad a few days. And I say being bad because I was eating things that I had no business having. But yesterday I almost went to Family Dollar and bought Ding Dongs. And I had to check myself. I'm like, look, even your candy was dark chocolate. It wasn't just, you know, whatever. Um, oh, and I had a Reese's Pieces cup last night. Just one, a little piece, a little mini uh, Reese's. So proud of that, but I'm back. <laughs>